this video is going to focus mainly on conversion of alkenes into alcohols and then alkenes into epoxides um, so we're going to talk about uh, hydroboration oxidation which we've discussed already I'm just going to go back through it quickly uh, oxymercuration and uh, also osmolation and remember these reactions are basically adding H and OH across the double bond now how we do that may differ but the, the bottom line or the um, basically the theme is you take H and add to one side you take OH and add to the other side so that's this set of reactions here and then osmolation will give me a diol here we're also going to talk about epoxides which are shown here these are just cyclic ethers where we have a one two three member ring with oxygen as one of the atoms in that three member ring all right and so we're also going to look at um, ozonolysis and then pyridate cleavage uh, of diols and then we're going to also look at conversion of alkenes into alkanes and then into cyclopropanes this is backwards over here but I'll fix it later alright so now let's look at real quick um, conversion of alkenes into alcohols and one reaction that we've already looked at is hydroboration oxidation a uh, couple of things here number one the reaction is always sin meaning H and OH always add to the same face uh, there's no intermediate and then here it, this occurs with anti-Markovnikov addition so just remember BAM BAM boron is anti-Markovnikov right meaning OH always goes to the less substituted side right between this carbon and this carbon this carbon here is less substituted so here's where OH goes and then H goes to the most substituted side this is all color coded so H the H comes from here and my OH is going to come from here in the second step so let's look at the mechanism alright first the uh, boron comes here right notice that the dipole on boron is going towards hydrogen and that's going to line up over the double bond where the partial charge partial positive charge is here on this carbon alright so boron is a source of hydride or H minus so this hydrogen is negative so let's look at the trend this is the transition state where H is adding here and then B is adding here so now let's look at the arrows here are my arrows here and then in, in at the end of that step where I add BH3 I get what's called an alkyl borane which is here alright where H is on the most substituted carbon and then B is on the least substituted carbon now I can actually take this and I can add two more double bonds to it because I have two more hydrogens that I can add um, across uh, two more double bonds alright so this can actually happen again if I so the stoichiometry here is I need three double bonds for every one BH3 and each one of these double bonds can pick up an H as you can see here from this alkyl borane alright so the second step here is the oxidation part so we've done the hydroboration part here now we need to do the oxidation part. I'm only going to show one oxidation where one of, only one of these gets converted into an alcohol. So let's look at it. So first, uh, sodium hydroxide comes in and deprotonates uh, the peroxide. Right, and I get a peroxy anion here. Now this is going to be my source for OH. Now let's watch what happens. Right, here's my boron and my alkyl borane. In comes my peroxy anion and attacks the boron. All right, now I'm here. Right now, my boron has a negative charge because it has four things attached to it. You need to go and calculate that formal charge to to uh, figure out if I'm telling you the truth or not. All right, so here oxygen is is now here. Now what happens in this case is a shift. This this boron carbon bond shifts to oxygen you break the O O single bond here and then we are uh, we end up here right so now this is my alkyl borane notice I lost OH over here just follow the arrows it's all logical here this bar boron carbon bond broke and attacked oxygen the this oxygen oxygen bond broke and I ended up with OH minus and then now I formed a BO bond here 
all right so let's keep going this is a very long mechanism so just stick with me all right now I'm here this is the same thing from the other slide OH comes in and attacks boron right and what it, what you'll see here is I'm also breaking the BO bond so I end up with B a BOH bond from here and then I kick off one of the alcohols now this alcohol now this uh, alkoxide gets protonated by water let me go back and do that again so I kick off um, the oxygen here so I have a BOH bond these electrons go on the oxygen and I get an alkoxide now watch what happens water comes in the oxygen attacks water and gets protonated so now I have my alcohol plus OH minus okay so with this again remember BAM boron is anti-Markovnikov and you can rewind this mechanism and watch it as many times as you need to let's look at another reaction and just uh, just as a note here this can occur two more times because you have two more alkoxides here so that whole process can occur two more times to give me two more alcohols because I started with three alcohols remember the stoichiometry is three to one uh, alkene to BH3 alright so now let's look at oxymercuration which is basically a sister reaction to the reaction we just looked at the only difference is with oxymercuration notice OH adds to the most substituted carbon so oxymercuration is Markovnikov follows Markovnikov addition where OH adds to the most substituted carbon and H adds to the least substituted carbon look this is color coded so my OH is going to come from water here and then my H is going to come from sodium borohydride which is here all right and sodium borohydride is a source of H minus just like BH3 is a source of H minus all right so let's look at the mechanism here's mercury acetate the double bond attacks that and I end up here with what we call a mercurinium ion intermediate right anytime you see IUM at the end of a, of a name that means it has a plus charge somewhere all right so I have a mercurinium ion intermediate all right water comes in and attacks that all right and now I have water here and then the acetate that I lost here in the first step is now here that's going to come in and deprotonate water and so after that step now I have my alcohol here's my OH here's mercury this is not the product so that's what I need the second step for I need to get rid of mercury so now in the second step here's uh, mercury reacting with sodium bar here's the uh, mercury intermediate reacting with sodium borohydride remember this is a source of H minus so let's just get rid of that and bring in H minus that attacks here you lose mercury this is a substitution reaction and then now I'm at my product where H is here on the least substituted carbon and then the OH is here on the most substituted carbon and then I also if you look at the side products for those of you that like to keep count BH I lose BH3 and then I have a mercury uh, sodium compound here All right so those two reactions hydroborase and oxidation remember BAM boron is anti-Markovnikov for this remember MIM M-I-M mercury is Markovnikov so anytime you see these reagents you're gonna get Markovnikov addition of H and OH across that double bond All right. osmolation is another way to convert alkenes into alcohols so I have an alkene here I treat it with osmium tetroxide and sodium uh, hydrogen sulfate sulfite I'm sorry and when I do that again this is a two-step mechanism the first step gives me an intermediate second step gives me my product a two-step reaction I'm sorry not a two-step mechanism all right so when I'm here I now when I treat my double bond with osmium tetroxide and sodium hydrogen sulfite what I get in the product is a diol notice I have two alcohols here and they're both on the same side right this this is the trademark of this reaction that the OH is always at sin or to the same side this is how it happens you form a 
Osmate Intermediate, which is here. I'm not going to go through the arrow pushing. We can talk about that in class. Uh, you form an Osmate Intermediate here, and then you treat that with in the second step with sodium hydrogen sulfite, and that breaks up this intermediate to give you the diol.